Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am back with another video. Today's video topic is on people pleasing and how that affects you. So this is something I can personally talk to you guys about because I went through a phase where I was a people pleaser. You know, it was normal for me to go out of my way to help people, even though it was costing a bit of my happiness, a bit of my attention, a bit of my time. The problem with people pleasing is it is not sustainable. Okay, it is very unhealthy, in fact, because you're giving so much of your energy into other people, into making sure that they stay happy. You really focus on yourself. You really give yourself that time and attention. In retrospect, you don't take care of yourself as well as you should if you're focused on everybody else keeping everybody else happy okay just think about it logically speaking if you were able to give a certain amount of attention to other people and keep the rest for yourself the more attention you're able to keep to yourself the more you're able to do with yourself if that makes sense so you can spend that time building yourself getting fitter getting stronger getting bigger getting smarter you see where i'm going with this instead of trying to keep everybody happy because here's here's the sad truth about it all you'll never ever satisfy everybody okay it's not possible unfortunately it's not possible that's very draining to you because people you know it's a human thing we want and we want people crave things all the time okay people want more People always feel they deserve more and that's fine. It's perfectly fine. But in this case, it's a bit bad because you are always going to be giving your time and energy to people to try and please them. At the end of the day, you are going to fall short. So understand that once you change your ways, people are not going to like you for it. Some people are going to hate you for it. Some people are going to comment on you. Some people are going to try and get into your head once you start deciding to better yourself. You need to realize that. You need to understand that that's just part of the process. Some people just don't want the best for you. That's okay. That's fine. Stick with the ones that do though. Because those are very rare people. Okay. Keep. You've got to keep your, your wits about yourself when it comes to, to people pleasing. Okay. You lose a sense of your identity. If you are constantly trying to go along with what everybody wants to do. And what everybody wants to say. You don't have a sense of identity in that because you're always contradicting yourself. You, there's no, there's no limit. There is no line. You know what I mean? There's no point where you tell yourself, this is not what I want to do. This is not what I enjoy doing. I'm not going to do it, which gets yourself into situations you really don't want to be in. Okay. So it's just a bad overall thing when it comes to your logic and the actions it will lead you into. So you need to be very careful, okay? You need to be honest with yourself. That's, I'd say that's a very good quality. Being able to have a good sense of honesty with yourself will get you far because you will realize your strengths and your weaknesses and you will be able to work on them, okay? I know it's, it's not fun to call yourself out on the things you are doing wrong, or the things that you could be doing better, but it is helpful. Okay, you realize your mistakes and you can correct them. It's a pretty easy process once you get over that, that mental block, I guess, if you can call it that. So people pleasing, um, like I've said, I have experience doing it and I've stopped doing it. I'm never going back to that because it left me dissatisfied. Okay, it didn't get me the results I wanted to get from the effort that I was putting in. Okay. I gave a lot of, I gave a lot of myself to a lot of people. That makes sense. And I had nothing left for me to enjoy. Okay. I felt like I was putting in so much effort and attention into other people and I wasn't getting anything out of it, anything, um, worthwhile in my experience or to my point of view, that wasn't worth the effort that I was putting in. So I knew something was wrong and it turned out, you know, I had a conversation with my parents also. It got, a, it got to a point where 
I really felt lost, if that makes sense. Like I literally had no sense of identity. I, no, I had no sense of self from being that type of person. And I had to learn to grow into where I am now, what I enjoy doing, well, the system that I have, you know what I mean? And I needed to get comfortable calling people out on things I don't like doing, things that I don't agree with. I needed to be comfortable myself, basically. So it was a whole process, not going to happen overnight, but most of the things that are worthwhile are going to require a lot of effort. Except people pleasing, <laughs> along with the other couple of negative things, okay? If it brings you good, keep on doing it. And when I say good, I mean you are improving. I mean, you can literally see difference in the way that you feel, the way that you act. Other people see you glowing, stuff like that. That's the difference I mean. I mean good differences. I don't mean changing behavioral patterns into bad things. If you used to be fit, now you are drinking every night. Or you are just not taking care of yourself like you used to. That's bad. That's not good. Okay, we always want to keep the good and try and lessen the bad, if that makes sense. So we want more pros than cons in our actions or our reactions from our actions. So that's just a bit of food for thought for you guys, you know, just be wary about that. Because a lot of people fall into that behavioral pattern of they want to keep everybody happy. They want everybody on their side and we end up not being ourselves if that makes sense look you gotta understand it's okay to offend people it's okay to not agree with what everybody wants to do that's fine everybody has their own taste everybody has their own identity everybody has their own sense of self that's valid okay anybody that calls you out for that people are gonna do that people do it regardless you do it yourself without even knowing it Okay, you can't expect everybody to like you because you don't even like everybody. I always go back to that example. Just remember that. Try and keep that in your mind. We are so focused on ourselves that we don't really worry about other people either way. So if you struggle with that, know that you are not alone. Many other people, including me, have gone through that struggle. It's okay. It's normal. I think that everybody goes through it from time to time. But just realize that you to have a choice to have your own identity. Okay, you can be your own person. You don't need to be told what to do, when to do it, or how to do it. You can do that all by yourself. Just take the chance on yourself to do that, to get to that point. Okay, just have that, that self-belief that you don't really need other people's approval to do what you do, as long as you feel fulfilled in it. I think that's the golden ticket. That's where you will find purpose and happiness in life because going after what everybody else wants, that's not really for you, if that makes sense. It's not really what you want to do. That's kind of, you are going along with the narrative of someone else's story instead of writing your own chapters. So that's all the information I've got for you guys out today. Just be wary of this thing. Like I said, it happens. Many people do it. Just take care of yourselves, guys. Be safe. Be on your grind. You know, stay on your purpose. Peace, guys.